Camping with KSAT, powered by Davis Law Firm. Dallas Cowboys defense had their way at Cowboys training camp, picking off Dak Prescott three times yesterday. The first one by Trayvon Diggs after it bounced off Noah Brown. Then Morris Kennedy made the diving robbery and finally won by DeMonte Casey, who returned it for a touchdown. Here's Greg Simmons with more. We continue now with the Dallas Cowboys training camp with one of our all-time favorites, quarterback Jordan Lewis. Jordan, thanks for being with us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Well, this is great. Did you see Michael Gallup go head over heels over the fence? And uh, what yeah. were you thinking when you saw that? Hopefully get up, man. I mean, I, I'm glad he was athletic enough to get over it. But then, he, you know, he stood, he was down there. So uh, we're just happy he got up. Now, do you think he made a conscious decision to kind of hit it and roll at the time? Or what do you think he was thinking? Oh, no, he definitely thought, I'm going to get over this. Yeah. And that's the, for, for, for sure, he thought. I'm gonna get. I had to. Like it was. He had too much moment, momentum going over there, so he he had to make a decision fast. So the defense is obviously a little bit ahead of the offense, and demonstrated today where you guys had three interceptions off of Dak. Mm -hmm. Is that surprising to you at all? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say surprising. I mean, it, it feels good to you know to see that we're you know we're so uh, far ahead that you know of of training camp. But um, I mean, I wouldn't say surprising. Uh, that's our standard. Uh, mm -hmm. Coach Dan Quinn told us like we have to, to play at a high standard and and. And today was was one of those days. All right, give me an idea how different it is playing for him versus other defensive coordinators you've obviously played for here on the team. Uh, I mean, you can tell that he he has conviction uh, with the with the, the guys he has in the room, and he's he's content with the guys he has in the room, and he's ready to roll. Are you impressed with the speed of practice? It seems a lot faster than we've seen in the past. Uh, no, I mean we set that precedence in the OTAs. I mean we we definitely thought that you know. We can, we can do some, some really good things and, and jump ahead of uh, other teams in, in training camp and, and get ahead of uh, some game management things and um, just go out there and, and go full speed as you've seen. Were you surprised the Cowboys resigned you? I mean, did you walk in one day? It was where did what did you do? Where, where, no, where did he yeah, go? I mean, <laughs> it was it's crazy that you know I, I was the one. I mean, I was right in the middle of that that draft class and yeah. um, I was I'm me and Jarwin and um, and Noah Brown are the only ones here. So I mean, me being the only one on the defensive end and uh, that's it is pretty crazy. I was like I was really surprised. And it appears receiver Randall Cobb is heading back to where his NFL career started, Green Bay. After spending last season with the Texans, it's being reported that Houston is sending him back to the Packers because Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers wants him back as part of his concessions to play for Green Bay this season. Here's what Texans GM Nick Casario said this morning about the reported trade. Uh, and I'd say we're kind of working through a situation relative to Randall Cobb. I know some of that's been reported. Um, there's probably there's a few moving pieces on that, so I don't really want to comment about anything kind of being complete and come to fruition. Uh, but I would say the roster is kind of a day-to-day -day endeavor. So Cobb played for Green Bay, mm -hmm. then went to Dallas for a mm -hmm. season, went to Texans for mm -hmm. a season. Now it looks like he's going back to Green Bay. Going home. Yep. I'm sure uh, they're really happy in Green Bay to have you back. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, thanks. Speaking of happy, SA Live is always happy. They're dreaming of Chamoy and churros today. That's right. You know, if you love those iconic San Antonio sweet and sour sour snacks, I mean, look at that mango nada right there. Look at mm -hmm. this, too. Oh, heavens, heavens. We're going to tell you where you can it's find like a dream. Those. It is. <laughs> a chamoy dream. Like a chamoy dream. Yeah, right. Exactly. Hey, you know what else is really good? Churros. You know what's even better than a churro? What? A free churro. Yes. We're going to tell you how you can get a free churro, and it's for a really good cost. And also, some dishes that involve churro sliders, churros, and fajitas. Fajitas. Oh my gosh, all stop that. it. We're going to yeah. tell you where you can find all that yum yum. Plus, you want to get your kids' creativity going where you can take your young artist to learn some skills while having fun. Uh huh, and I found my new screensaver right here. <laughs> It's you a hand-drawn picture. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but I'm going to learn how to, to add some color to this. Oh, and no. use a little shade. Oh, no. <laughs> don't, don't be What are you going to do? Be okay, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, if those tortillas had some butter on them, you know how good that would smell? Mm -hmm. All right. Have you seen that candle at H-E-B no, that's like yet. a buttered tortilla? Ooh. That's why we want to know, what would you turn into a candle as a scent? What would it be? Think about that at SA Live KSAT. All that and more when mm. we continue in a few minutes. Temperatures are already starting to jump into the 90s. It promises to be a hot day, but there is an outside chance of a cooling shower 20% through the afternoon and the late evening hours. Otherwise, hot and toasty through the weekend. Maybe some more chances early next week, guys. Thanks, Justin. A buttered flour tortilla. I don't think that's on any diet plan I've heard of. Probably not. It's on Mike and Fiona's. 
I know. They're so lucky. They are. They start right now. Oh, yes, we are. Well, mangonadas, chamoy, hot Cheetos. Well, need we say more? How a popular snack truck is putting their own spin on the treats that San Antonio loves. And... Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Life is better in the fast lane, and I'm going to let you know where you can have some great family fun this summer. Burning rubber. It's all coming up next. Yona behind the wheel. That's scary. Now we go to three <laughs> crazy churro combinations. Three local restaurants have a big event coming up, and it's all about churros and helping children. It's all today on a snacktastic SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Oh, look at that yum yum. Hello and happy Wednesday. You can park that, bring it in no, for a no, landing. No, right. right. It, it, oh, a little to your little, there we go, right about yes. there. That's perfect. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster Hayes. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, if you love all those iconic sweet and sour San Antonio treats, you're going to love today's show. Yep. You know, and if you're really looking for good, good food, where do you go? You go to where the people are lined up. Chamoy Dreams often has a line of cars with people who just can't get enough of these sweet, sour, salty, wonderful creations. So, you know, we had to see what all the buzz was about. So we sent SA Live photographer Dusty Palos to check out this South Side sensation. Yeah. It's all part of our series where we team up with Live from the Southside Magazine to highlight businesses that are doing really, really great and tasty things on the city's South Side. Yeah, so Chamoy Dreams, we sell uh, snacks. So it's a uh, mango nada, shaved ice, hot cheese with cheese, nachos, Frito Pie, corn in a cup. We came up with them just uh, basically, me and my buddy, we were just uh, there just basically just Figuring it out, just throwing everything together and see what we, uh, eventually they turned out with, with, with the items that you see on the menu now. So what made us start Chamoy Dreams was uh, me and my buddy Jason, we figured out real quick that we did not want to work for anyone else. And so we, we knew that we could uh, each have a role and have a part in, uh, and contribute to something on our, of our own. I, I like sour, but I don't like too, too much sour. So, but yes, definitely it can get crazy. We can, uh, yeah, it can definitely, I prefer it right in the middle, sweet and sour. Nothing too sweet, nothing too sour, so right in between. We've been figuring out so much about that we did not know about. And um, yeah, it's been showing us what we're capable of, or, you know, what we're good at, what we're not good at. So you can, you can find your more dreams on all social media platforms, basically. You, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, and YouTube. Um, and you can find us on the southwest side of San Antonio, 5558 Old Pearsall Road. If y'all want to follow us inside, we'll get some of these snacks for you. So the first one that we are going to be making is a gusano. Gusano with gummy bears. So we have our mango nada here. We're going to get one scoop. And then right over here, strawberry sour belts. We're going to roll up four of these. They're going to go in the corner. And you're gonna see right now here in a bit once it's done as to why we call this the gusano in English, caterpillar. Right now we have a scoop of the mango nada, strawberry sour builds. We're gonna hit it with some chamoy. Then we got chili powder. And then we're gonna get our cucumber. Our cucumber that goes right up there. Then we're gonna hit it with some more chamoy. Chili powder. And then lastly, gummy bears. And there we are. That's the gusano mango right there with gummy bears. Again, this is, if I had to say, it's because you get a little bit of everything. You get some sour bills, gummy bears, cucumber, mango nada, and it's a small portion. All right, so now we have the volcano mango. So we start off by putting some chamoy in our cup, a scoop of the mango nada. Then we're gonna add some gummy bears right in the middle, some chamoy, chili powder, one more scoop, mango nada. And then we're gonna basically do the same thing. We're gonna roll up three of these. Now we're gonna get our cucumber. Now we're gonna hit it with some chamoy. And then now we're gonna add pickles on this one. More gummy bears. And then lastly, some chamoy and chili powder. So that's the volcano. Again, a little bit of everything. We got, the, it's got a little bit the mango nada, gummy bears, this time some pickles to make, give it a little bit of sour, cucumbers, Chamoy chili powder. 
Lupe Prado, you are here and you brought, of course, these incredible creations so that we could taste them in person. So when in doubt, basically just more gummy, more gummy bears. bears. That's that's kind of what I got. Yes. <laughs> and and here's a couple of the creations <laughs> that yeah. you did, right? And what's this one called over here? So that one there is the gusano mango. So you got a scoop of the mango nada, which you see up top is a cucumber, and then the candy is the sour belts. More there gummy we go. bears. Add more gummy bears. Okay. <laughs> And a little bit of the red. And a real red chamoy. And just go like this. There you go, as many as much as you like. All right. There you go. The chili powder. And there you have it. The gusano mango. All right. In the middle. Now All this right. one's pretty popular, right? Yes, so that is a, we're coming to find out that that is a very popular item here in San Antonio. Hot Cheetos with pickles. So we're gonna add the Plain red. And simple, right? The red and the green chamoy and a little bit of chili powder. There we are. Okay. Oh my that God. one okay. I have got to are. try and that combination. Lastly, one. we had the volcano. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of everything. So cucumber, sour bills, gummy bears, pickles, mango nada. There we go. Finishing finishing touches, chamoy, and the chili powder. And we are gonna make the mango nada right Correct. here. I'm gonna finish it. What's Fini in here so far? Okay, so there we have again a scoop of the mango nada, chamoy chili powder. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put the last scoop on top. There we have it. Okay. okay. Some chamoy. And then uh, chili powder. And the chili powder. And right. that finishes it off. And do I do more gummy bears on this one too? If you like, yes, definitely. The gummy bears are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this gummy bear container was a lot fuller, but these are the softest, chewiest gummy bears that you have ever had. We have just, I mean, again, we've just taken it to town. So <laughs> this well, combination yeah. uh -huh. of the hot Cheetos and the pickles because you get a little hot cheetah and then all of a sudden the, the dill of the pickle comes in there and then the chamoy. Correct. You've yeah. got to taste that. That is so good. Yes, again, you know, as I mentioned earlier, um, so, you know, we thought it was just a San Antonio thing, but we're quickly finding out through social media that this is something that's, you know, across the country. People are really enjoying the hot cheetos with pickles. And speaking of social media, I mean, what is behind, like, what inspires your videos? Because they're pretty popular on social. Yes, yeah, so pretty much, uh, we just go at it. We don't. There's not too much thinking uh, of it. We don't. We don't. We're not hard on ourselves. We don't overthink it. We just boom. We just have if an it idea. It looks good. Try it, it looks good. Exactly. <laughs> and we just get to it. Okay. And people, of course, keep lining up and coming back for more. Why is that? Uh, I, I, again, I think social media has a lot to do with it. I think uh, you know, social media is like you know. I think we need to see it as a positive way. Um, you know, uh, just like anything else, um, we tend to focus like on the negative side of it, but if we use it to our advantage, mm -hmm. it, it really is creating a lot of opportunity. And really help, you know, local small businesses. E exactly, yeah. you know? right, because we're located on the southwest side mm -hmm. of San Antonio. And, uh, I like to think that no one really thinks of, you know, that side of town, like, oh yes, we're gonna go down there, you know, for this or that. And so, the power of social media. See? It is yeah. worth the drive. You know, and interesting too, putting the cucumber in there, which mm -hmm. has the very, very, you know, almost a bland flavor, but then it accents everything else exactly. so well. Exactly, the chamoy and the chili powder. <laughs> but I can see why this one is popular. <laughs> that's that's pretty darn good. Once again, where are you located? On the southwest side of San Antonio. So it's uh, the address is 5558 Old Pierce Road. All mm -hmm. right, Lupe Prado, owner of Chamoy Dreams. Thank you so much thank for you. being here. For more information on Chamoy Dreams, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That thing is addictive. Right? Yes, the hot cheese. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. okay. It looks yeah. That's what scripts it's are right. for. <laughs> Napkins, too. So you got to do something really cool recently. Mm -hmm. And if you want the whole family to go have some fun, because, you know, rubbing is racing. Yep. And what is it? What was the other saying? If well, you, you're, if you're, kind of rubbing if you're in second, too, you're yeah. not, what, what? Oh, if, you're, yeah. if, you, if you come in second, you've lost. Yes, okay. But if you just want to burn rubber with the family, here is a fun place to go. <laughs> Well, I feel the need, the need for speed. If you're looking for a fun place to take the family this summer, well, there's a spot where you can have a really good time. The San Antonio Karting Complex. and ready to burn some rubber. But before we do, manager Nick Williams is here to tell us all about the track. Hey there. How are you? I am so excited to be here today. This good, is gonna good. be so much fun. And yes, that's the thing that folks can have out here with yes, their families, right? Pl plenty of fun for all ages. Um, we start out with our drivers at 12 years old, 56 inches tall. 
Um, for those little racers that want to get part of the action, we do have a couple two-seaters here for them to race in. As long as they're over 48 inches tall, they can be driven by an adult and get a taste of the adrenaline. So they'll feel that speed and they'll be able to see how they do on a leaderboard, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Here we list everybody's times from every race up on our leaderboard on our app and also in store. Uh, right now, last night, our fastest time got ran with the 41.992. Um, so that's with the goal to beat out here. And somebody's going to be able to do it here in the next couple weeks. And these carts are, are no joke, right? They're legit. No, ma'am. They're legit. They're the fastest in, here in Central Texas. Um, I have yet to be anything that's going to beat them, and I don't think I can find anything to beat them. So. <laughs> and when folks walk in, I mean, you've even got memorabilia. Yes, ma'am. Inside we have a suit from Jamie Little. She's an ESPN NASCAR reporter. Um, then also inside, first thing you see is our CRG carts that we have up for sale. Um, we're also selling Levo spec carts as well as these Zamp helmets. We're a full Zamp dealer as well. So besides just coming out for fun, I mean, you guys do team building. You guys do corporate events. Yes, ma'am. We do anything from Grand Prix style races all the way to uh, Le Mans style endurance races for some team building action and bachelor parties. parties Birthday parties, everything. family, everything. <laughs> Whatever you can think of, if you want a taste of adrenaline for it, we got it here. So what do people need before they race besides just they, guts? They just need need for speed <laughs> and be willing to take it out on the track. It's good uh, cardio. Um, plenty of stress to be relieved throughout the work week. We're open Tuesday uh, through Sunday, so you can come out and relieve that midweek stress. We have $15 races on Thursday nights for everybody to come and relieve that stress. Okay, so are my arms going to be sore? They, like they might be. You're definitely going to be gripping <laughs> that steering wheel pretty tight. Um, karting is one of the best ways to earn some cardio. These carts are super fast. You're going to be burning uh, rubber as well as sweat and calories. So just 26 minutes from downtown San Antonio, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're right off I-10. Take the Zool Road exit and we'll be right down Zool and uh, Bolton Road. All right. So we're going to go get our helmets on and we're going to race, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I hope you brought your need for speed because you're going to need it. San Antonio Karting Complex for weekly deals and contests. For more information on San Antonio Karting Complex, just call 210-756-RACE. That's 210-756-7223. Or visit the website sakcfun.com. We need to get out right? there sometime. And you know, they have the two-seaters, so yeah. you know, parent and child right. can ride. You know, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. All right, so have you seen this over at HEB? They have a scented candle that smells like the famous butter tortillas that they sell Ooh. in their bakery, Ooh. you know? So, I like that. you know, we want to know what scent would you turn into a candle? I'm thinking hot Cheetos and pickles. <laughs> I like that one. Um, if, we're, if we're going food, I would almost have to say bacon. I bacon. Bacon. Just bacon. Bacon. All right. What's better than the smell of bacon? That's true. I, I mean, no judgment. Okay. No, I, <laughs> I'm not judging. Just yeah, okay, bacon. Bacon. Okay. bacon. okay. We don't know what you <laughs> we're not judging. Bacon. Uh, what would you turn into a, a candle scent? Would it be oh maybe you know what else smells really good? What? Ground beef browning in a pan. Okay. I'll you have any it. more suggestions? I, I'll, I'll think of something in the commercial break. I'll let you know. So, <laughs> so let us know some of yours at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, there it is. Here's that tortilla. <laughs> so, all right, tell the head on SA Live. Hey, churros are getting a makeover. Multiple local restaurants are putting a spin on the classic treat. We get to check out the crazy creations and find out why this is more than just snacks. But first, are you looking for an after school program for the new school year where your young artist can learn the skills while having fun.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, as we get closer back to school, we also, you know, start looking for some of those after school programs for kids. Yes, and Brooke Treadwell, owner of Ala Prima Art Studio, is here to tell us how you can inspire your young artists and show us how they get those creative juices flowing. Hello, hello. Hi. Good to see you. Thank okay. you for having me. So nothing inspires Mike, of course, um, more than working with me. <laughs> so you brought a project. That like I said, said, I found my new screensaver <laughs> right here. <laughs> yes, indeed. But this is part of a package that you can get at home, right? Yes, so this comes with our Rainbow Portrait Art Kit. It's Not actually- Not my face though. Yeah. <laughs> no, so you send us a photo and we do a custom hand-drawn portrait and then the art kit comes with all of the supplies and the instructions that you need to create your own rainbow portrait. Okay, and it's it's a very interesting way of doing it. It's watercolors, but if you're not, you know, the artist, this is not gonna, it's, so this lesson teaches how to uh, contour a face using warm and cool colors. Okay. And it's done with what's called a wet on wet style, so it's meant to be very loose. And be so careful. we're not worried about <laughs> staying in the line so much. We're just kind of letting the water color do its own thing. So first of all, I'm just putting plain water on here. Mm -hmm. on and we're gonna do the highlights of the face with the warm tones. And I like to start with yellow just because it's the lightest okay, color. Okay, so I just do a little bit so of this. A little bit of yellow. And I put it in here and it's gonna spread then, on its mm -hmm. own. Do I need Lovely. to like brush it in a little bit like that? I, I would or? add maybe a little bit of water and just okay. kind of let the colors blend. They just kind of bleed a little bit onto the page. Okay. And so. What you would do, you would add all of your highlights, and I like mm -hmm. to think of it as like maybe contouring a face with makeup. Um, so I don't, I don't know if you're used to wearing makeup, maybe because you're on TV, but <laughs> 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 but it's basically like highlighting with makeup. So okay. And then, uh, so what we'll do is we'll allow this to dry, and, and then, then we'll move on to the second stage. So I've got this one kind of half done for you. And this has all the highlights on and it. Then, now so we now have to you'll put... add the shadows, and so the contrast between the two tones is going to create the illusion that there's dimension in the face. So the same thing, I wet the spots that I want to put on the shadows here and mm -hmm. under the chin. You're doing great. And then a little bit of this blue. I would take blue, okay. some, one of the cool tones, so any of these cool tones right here. And just kind of like that? Yeah, I think it looks just like, there you go. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, well I'll finish one this one up. You. Okay. Now I'm going to do another kind of yes. cool little project so over here. This is another really fun one that we do at the studio. It's really fun and expensive, and it's got easy cleanup, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is what we call a yarn painting, and you're basically just going to take yarn and you're going to glue it to your paper. So for this, you just need a inexpensive frame. I got this one at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. um, some glue, some scissors, and some type of pointed tool. Uh, you can use a toothpick, a pencil, or a needle like this. Um, mm -hmm. and you're just gonna lay your glue okay and put the yarn down is it stuck uh, it might Clo be close it and open it back up okay while she's doing that how, what types of different mediums do you use for okay kids? so we have about 12 different mediums last okay. time I counted so we draw we use oil pastels chalk pastels we paint with watercolor acrylic gouache uh, we have a pottery wheel and a ceramic kiln mm -hmm. so we get to do ceramics which is really fun to teach the kids about the ceramic process and how to transform a lump of clay into a beautiful piece of art or a functional piece of pottery that they can take home and they get so excited when they find out they can eat cereal out of the bowls <laughs> that they threw on the wheel. It's adorable. And, and two different things. That way they're not getting uh, tired of one particular art form exactly. and using, they, they find what they like. Using so many different mediums keeps them engaged because you don't want an after school program to feel like more school. So it keeps them engaged and it helps them find things that they could be passionate about or really good at. What ages? So it's, uh, the program is ages kindergarten through 12, and then we also teach an adult program um, that starts in September. Oh, yeah. so, so if you've just got an extra hour a week or something, you can try it out? So yeah, so that's actually a 15 uh, week program, but it's broken into three sections. So we have drawing, painting, and ceramics. And so you can take the whole program as sort of a comprehensive educational experience, or you can just take the individual mediums as an individual five week class. So, because, okay. you know, adults are really busy and it's hard to commit to a full 15 weeks sometimes. Right. We've all got projects and kids and jobs and things, so okay. that's why we do it that way. So, in this, whoops, I, the, it's running a little bit, but this is what it's going to look like, and you would fill in the hair and everything else, 
and very neat. Yeah. All right. Tell us where you're located. Uh, so we are in New Braunfels, Texas, and if you want to find any information, alapremaartstudio.com. We've got all of the program information, registration, program schedules, and art the kits art available. Kits. All right. And for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Brooke, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Still ahead on the show, tacos and coffee. Do you really need much else? I mean, we take you to a family business making their mark on the city's west side. And next, chicken lovers, get excited. The more you buy, the more you get back. The Restaurant Rewards Program that's giving away bonus points this month. That money-saving deal is straight ahead on SA Live. these free Chick-fil-A nuggets, chick waffle fries, chicken sandwich, and all the Polynesian sauce. You're just one click away. It's bonus point time with the Chick-fil-A One app. And I'm joined now by Area Marketing Director Christy Gentry at the Blanco Road location. Hello, how Hi. are you? Welcome. Thanks for being here. <laughs> so the promotion ends July 31st. How does the promotion work? Yeah, so any silver, red, or signature member um, can come and place an order between 2 to 4 p.m and get 50 bonus points um, on, added to their Chick-fil-A app. Got it. So what are some of the menu items with all those points people can take advantage of and get? Oh yeah, a refreshing uh, beverage, some hot and fresh waffle fries, and a delicious uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich. Okay, my mouth is watering looking <laughs> at all this delicious food, but what else can you do for those who don't have the Chick-fil-A One app? What else can you do with it and how can you use it? Yeah, so you can um, download the Chick-fil-A app today and start racking up some points for some free Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love a good freebie? So if you don't have it, it's that easy, right? Right. And it's not just the drive through Let's talk about the other options for someone. Maybe you're out and about, you get hungry, um, you want to place your order right then and there, that's an option, right? Yeah, you <laughs> totally can. Um, even if you're in your jammies at home, you can get that delivery right to your like homes. That. Awesome. So the food looks and smells amazing. Do you have a favorite menu item, Christy? Oh my goodness. So <laughs> the waffle fries are my favorite. I love the Polynesian sauce and the buffalo sauce. Oh, I together. forget about the buffalo sauce, the little kick, right? Yes, oh, so good. I'll have to try that. I know my kids love it here as well. We're here pretty often. I don't know if you recognize us. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you so much. Please take advantage of the Chick-fil-A One app because why not? The freebies are great and it lasts till July 31st. All right, any silver, red, or signature member who places a mobile or personal web order through their Chick-fil-A One account between 2 and 4 p.m. during the promotion will get 50 bonus points on their order. It works on one order per day today through July 31st. For more information, just visit Chick-fil-A.com. All right, three local restaurants have come up with some crazy churro creations and we're making one of those wild recipes and we're going to tell you how they're actually helping families with back to school shopping. A churro for a good cause? What? Mm -hmm. It's so... Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, you're not going to believe this. Welcome back to SA Live. Have you ever tried churros and fajitas? Mm -hmm. That's just one brand new churro creation helping to get people excited. Yeah, this will get you excited about a huge <laughs> event happening at three La Familia Cortez restaurants. Yes, uh, Marina Uriega is the corporate pastry chef for La Familia Cortez is here to show us these churro-centric dishes and of course uh, tell us all about the great cause that's behind all of this. So why is Familia Cortez going so big right now on churros? <laughs> so it's gonna be a fundraiser for uh, school uniforms. You bring in some khakis, polos, and in return we give you some churros. Wow, so you get a nice. free churro, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now we're going to be making uh, some of these dishes, but we're going to start with the churros over here. So. Right. So you're going to just pipe a little circle. That's going to be our bun for our hamburger. Okay. <laughs> the churro <laughs> burger. Mm -hmm. Just Stop. like that. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Right, and we do like have it. some already made, so you can drop that carefully into the so pan. If you were going to do this at home, you do want to let it kind of stiffen up a little bit and sit a little bit. Right, so you okay. want it to be cool and carefully, just like that. Yes. Okay. 
Uh -huh. And if folks wanted to get one of these churro sliders, it's mm -hmm. available at Mi Familia at the Rim, right? Yes, the slider is at Mi Familia at the Rim. We have the churros and fajitas at La Margarita. And then our churro Sunday is going to be at Pico de Gallo. Okay. How'd you come up with these ideas? Uh, well, you know, just trying different things, trying to incorporate churros and all of our desserts into different ideas. Okay. So those will go for a bit, and mm -hmm. then when they're done, and we've got you know the sugar on uh -huh. it. So I'm going. What is this? Right so here. right. So this is our mm -hmm. bun. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna put your hamburger, hamburger, um, our um, smash burger, mm -hmm. onto this our okay. bottom bun, and then you'll uh, spread our raspberry jam, raspberry jalapeno jam, on top. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then you'll top it with your other churros. Hold on, I'm doing a little more jam here. <laughs> oh, jam is my jam. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can't oh. wait to try that. Okay, and then like this? Yes, just I mean, like I don't that. Know, I don't think there's a wrong way to do that, right? Yeah, just like that. That's okay. perfect. And then uh, how does, how does, one, hold on, how, hold on, how does one eat it? I know. Well, you just, you can take a big bite if you want. You, okay. You try. I will. Go for it. This looks way too good. So here we go. Okay. I'll catch anything if it drops. <laughs> <laughs> is it so good? It's got to be so good. It is. <laughs> I mean, it's churro. This, I've got, the, uh, okay. I'm talking about mouthful. <laughs> the, this, oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> All right. Now, the free churros are yes. churros. These are our items These that are you features provide, right? that the restaurants okay. are, are um, having mm -hmm. to kind of entice people to come in. But you do get an order of churros if you bring in um, gently used or new uniforms. And the thing is, though, to get each one of these, you got to go to all three different to restaurants. To each different restaurant, right. Well, that's sneaky. <laughs> okay, because so these churro fajitas, yes. you eat that together? Yes, I'm told the best way to eat it is to grab a churro, grab a fajita, and dip it in the same jam, uh, raspberry jalapeno jam. Okay, so grab a churro. Yes, grab a fajita. Sorry, pardon, I'm getting in my fingers here. Okay, grab a fajita. And then you dip it. And then dip both. And then take a bite together. Mm -hmm. Excuse then, my reach. I gotta try that too. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it delicious? You know, you wouldn't think they go together. Mm-hmm. Whoops. But they do. Does, is there is there a more popular item? Like, uh, I mean, they're all pretty darn good. They they are yeah. all pretty good. They're all pretty good. My favorite have to be this one right here. I'm a dessert lover, so that one would be my favorite. That's really good. Okay, hats off to whoever came up with these ideas. <laughs> these are absolutely fantastic. But once again, okay, don't you forget. have to go, Charles. Uh, this Friday, July 30th, is the annual school uniform drive, Khakis for Churros. You can bring newer, gently used khakis, polo, school uniforms to Pico de Gallo, La Margarita, and Mi Familia out there in the rim. You'll even get free churros in exchange for your donations, and monetary donations will also be accepted. For more information on the Khakis for Churros or information on any of the La Familia Cortez restaurants, go to LaFamiliaCortez.com. All right, next on the show, this family-owned business is bringing that cool coffee shop vibe to the city's west side. We get the story behind this cafe. Keep it here. You are watching SA Live. Amelia Cortez, an iconic San Antonio family business, and we're going to introduce you to another local family starting to make their own impact in the community. Yep, Jen Tobias Trusky takes us to Barrio Barista on the west side in this real San Antonian spotlight. <music> month, we love putting the spotlight on real San Antonians doing amazing things in their community. Today, we take you to the West Side, a coffee shop that's father-son owned, and the combination has customers coming back day after day. By the way, they're home to the original barbacoa grilled cheese and horchata latte. Good food brings good people in. The community likes it here because they know if they're going to get a plate a certain way, they're going to get it again the same way. And that's most important. By us being here, we can see that the community shares the same vision that we do of having a experience here. And 
and friendship and everything else that goes along with good, good talking with others. Gilbert De Hoyos and his son are co-owners of Barrio Barista, located on the west side of San Antonio, a few blocks away from St. Mary's University. They're serving up coffee, hot meals, and conversations too, in a building that was once a meat market owned by Gilbert's parents. After traveling for many years into Mexico and coming back and, and, and seeing that my dad still had this location, and he had retired from it. He asked me if I wanted to start a coffee house here, a business, and I told him, yes, a coffee house would be an excellent place to start here. And being that he was so successful here, I've always felt that it's not where you're at, it's how good your service is to others. Seven years now, their customer favorite stop. To be offering fresh coffee um, on this part of town is kind of unheard of. Um, really there's nowhere to really get like a good cup of espresso, um, a latte over on this part of town. I'm very proud to work with my son as the barista. I love to cook and create food, so that makes it the love and the art of serving others through food. I try to put a twist um, on a lot of the coffee drinks that we offer. Yes, including a mazapan latte. Yes, as in the Mexican candy, hot or iced. And the horchata latte. Yeah, that's our signature drink. When we opened back in 2014, I believe we were the only place offering horchata lattes. And uh, now you, it seems like you can go anywhere to pick up a horchata latte, which is nice. This group went for a Reese's latte. The options are fun, and the community is getting the full barista experience. A lot of people may have never been to a coffee shop or a coffee house and don't know what an espresso is or what an Americano is. And it's nice that we're able to offer that opportunity uh, to engage and educate them on the world of coffee. Outside, you really kind of don't even look twice and just drive by until you walk in. You're like, okay, I've been missing out on this little you know, place this whole time. The building itself is more of a put together from, I'm gonna say items that my parents had left behind that makes it real homely in here. And then the local artists have participate by hanging their pictures on the walls. And it makes it a place where they can sell some art as well. Together, the father-son team is continuing the family's legacy. He's really the one that, that, that came with the vision and, um, and made it a reality. Gilbert Jr. is all about the Java and marketing. He's even teaming up with Memorial High School's culinary program to teach more about his love for coffee. People feel, I think, more proud of their neighborhood because we are part of this growth here. And they say, other people have said, why didn't you put this downtown? Well, I said, well, this is a neighborhood that we were brought up, brought up in. So it comes back to where eventually you, me, feel most at home here in my community. For SA Live, it's a home away from home. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Next on the show, are you struggling to cool your home? It could be your old windows. Check out the great deal that can save you money and keep you cool. Stay with us. And you know here in South Texas, it's only going to get hotter. And people with single pane windows are definitely going to be feeling the pain. So maybe it's time to cool off and switch to double pane windows. We're out here at the Window Source of San Antonio and we're going to find out all about these. We're here with the owners of Window Source of San Antonio, Erica and Moses Torres, in your new place here on the, the west side. Beautiful here. All right, single pane windows. Why are they not good? Well, first of all, they're single pane like you mentioned, so they're gonna be drafty, they're gonna be non-energy efficient, they're gonna be noisy, um, and of course, they just don't look good. So uh, with new energy efficient windows, we give the house a facelift, makes it look a lot better. So double pane windows is the answer. It'll take care of all that. Explain how. So again, we're, we're doubling everything. So we're doubling the glass size, we're doubling the strength of the glass, uh, the low E coating, um, noise reduction, all that plays a big part of, of the window replacement when we replace it with new energy efficient windows. 
So Erica, people might be feeling the heat right now in their pocketbooks with non-energy efficient windows. How much money can folks save with better windows? Yes, homeowners can save up to $100 a month on their energy bill by just switching to energy efficient windows. And you also offer financing because obviously replacing windows is a big investment, so explain that to folks. Yes, we offer zero down, 18 months no interest. All right, and you also have a special going on right now. The first 10 callers will get eight windows for $36.95 along with a free consultation. The best price in San Antonio, guaranteed. Just call 210-806-7625 and for more information, visit windowsourceofsa.com. So Erica, Moses, how's the new saying go? Three, two, one. Let, Let those the old windows, windows go. go. Tomorrow on SA Live, well, we are cluck clucking away because it's National Chicken Wing Day and we have a local restaurant share their fried chicken recipes with us. Plus, if you like movies, roller coasters, and Comic-Con, don't miss tomorrow's show. Celebrity Fan Fest is this weekend at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. We chat with a few Hollywood stars that are going to be at the event. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. Earlier, we asked you what scent you know Ooh. you want as a candle, and Barrett says lemonade and pink lemonade. I That'll like that. Oh. Cinnamon rolls, Colleen. Yes. Okay, Crystal says popcorn, but I'm sure it make everybody hungry. Yes. Fresh ground coffee, uh-huh, Karen, good one. And Hope says, I'm gonna need a bacon-wrapped jalapeno <laughs> candle. Hear that, H-E-B? There you go, Mike. <laughs> Fix vapor rub, Christina. <laughs> From Christina, greatness. Although that is, a, that is a good smell, though. Yeah. Fix vapor oh, yeah. rub, so. It'll hey, instantly clear. <laughs> Comic-Con. And that's coming to uh, Six Flags. Or not Comic Con, uh, the uh, Celebrity Fan Fest. Celebrity Fan Fest. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I had a chance at an interview today, which is going to air tomorrow, with Sam Jones. Remember him from uh, Flash Gordon? Yes. Way back when. He was on our show a couple of years ago and then talked with him. And he was also, if you remember, in 10. He was Bo Derek's husband. Oh, yeah, remember that? No. In the movie. Uh -huh. But you do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Great. you'll get to watch us chat with a few of those Hollywood stars and uh, tomorrow. Ooh, mm. ooh, what, what you got there, Ted? That looks like some chamoy. That's a mango nala. Remember? Uh -huh.